Hello and welcome to another Process Love Candy. My name is Mark Sheard and this is a time lapse demonstration of my work in Procreate. Today's piece of Love Candy was a commissioned illustration and it features the client in a romantic embrace with the amazing Miss Poison Ivy. I really enjoyed creating this piece. It was really fun to get outside of the box and draw a well-known character but do it in my style and, and break the mould with it, creating something kind of unique and entertaining. And it was really wonderful to try and create a, a, just a lovely moment between these two ladies and make it sensual and beautiful and intricate and lovely and, and just something that the client can look back at and, and really just let her mind wander and go somewhere else, you know. I worked hard on this illustration, sketching away and drawing all the finer details, starting out really rough and refining as I go. I've put lots of little tiny elements and little fine details. I worked really hard on the client's character and, and personal shapes and forms just to make sure it really looks like her. Uh, it's quite important to make sure that it's instantly recognisable from anyone that the character main focus is her. Um, so I like to make sure I get all the touches right and, and it correct and I worked alongside my client throughout it sending her roughs and earlier designs just to make sure that she was really happy with this piece it was really fun to illustrate poison ivy especially in this bombshell style you know I love everything pin-up and vintage fashion so it was really cool to get those those victory rolls happening and the hairstyle and brassiere and and all the elements that go into that old school fashion pin-up look. Working hard on the pose here for the client, um, getting that hand just wasn't working for me, it wasn't giving me the, the feeling that I was after so I had to keep on adjusting it. Hands are always difficult things to do and it doesn't matter where you are in your career, you'll still keep working on them and developing them. In here in this illustration I'm, I've got the vines all creeping out and as well as poison ivy embracing my client I've also got her vines creeping around and contorting around it and also you know holding on to her and, and creeping in. And we've got all those flowers all blooming and I think in the end it gives a really nice feeling and mood all over. I've added a few petals raining down from the sky just to give it that fantasy feel and then I've also tried to make sure all the heavy details in the bottom left and once again the main overall composition of this piece is to have all the detail in the bottom left with a strong diagonal cross beam throughout the illustration leaving enough air and room for the main characters faces in the top right to be elevated and, and to be very clear and readable. So I'm going over now with um, just a layer of the base colours. Okay, I always start with this process and just lay down all my flat colours and then with a clipping mask above I'll start to add in details like texture, shadows and highlights. So first on this one I've gone with all the textures and stuff and getting a little bit of shape and, and variety in those as I go. Now this little bit of strobing happening in the background isn't, isn't me having fun putting on an animation show for you. This is, this is me trying all different textures and effects for the backdrop so I can get the right feel that I want. And now that I'm happy and I'm settled on it, I'll leave it as is and then I've just added a little bit of extra sun rays just to really highlight the character and bring out their faces. Next I'm knocking back my uh, original sketch and redrawing all the line work nice crisp and clear on top. I want this piece to be very high quality and top notch so I'm really putting in the extra effort in the line work just to make sure it's perfect on this one. So all the colour on the line work is a darker tone of the, of the shape that it's in. Um, so the skin tone is, is a darker browny red and then the, the hair is a dark orange to the hair and so on and so forth. Although when I've gone for the flowers here I've gone for a lighter colour rather than darker colour and this is to make them seem a little bit more translucent. Um, so generally as a rule when I'm doing this colour process I'd be doing darker line work on, on the on the base but then if it's like glass and, and water I would be going for a lighter one, things that are more shiny. And then that makes them pop out a little bit more and, and gives a, a difference to the rest of the character. Time now to start doing my shadows. So I'm just laying down quick with a hard edge brush here um, and just putting all my shadows down. Never use black, it's always like a, a, a dark brown, a dark red, um, and it tries to avoid it getting too muddy. After I lay it down, I then knock it back a little bit with a soft edge eraser and, and bring it back a little bit where I need. 
So layer upon layer, this this illustration will keep sculpting along and, and come along better and better, and each element brings more depth and form to the shapes and stuff. I'm really happy with how it's coming along. Sometimes though, as you're illustrating, you, you darken up areas too much, so you have to go in and, and pop them back up. This is like the stage of the drawing that I like. It really vibrates and, and pops and bounces. And um, So when I put those little fine highlights along, really crisp lighting really brings it up and pops it up and makes a dark drawing bright again. So once I'm finished with all my layers and highlights, I'm just going in and adding one extra more layer of really white lights, just to really pop it all up and bring it all out. And then a few little sparkles here and there, which will make it really shine. And now I'm going in with just some soft lighting, just really kind of reflective glow light, as if it's kind of quite heavenly, you know. And then a few more sparkles, and then adding a few more dust bunnies in the air, and and just little blooms where the light's been affected up close to the camera, which just really makes this look like a magical moment. And, and there we go. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed making this illustration, and I was so glad to hear that my client loved it so much as well. I put a lot of effort into this piece and really think it shows. I think it's a lovely little moment, and it's cute and beautiful and just romantic. I don't know. It looks... looks looks like a place anyone would want to be <laughs> uh, so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this piece of love candy i've really enjoyed making this one for you this has been shida and i will see you in the springtime <laughs>